Uh, I hear a lot of people, t uh, you know, talk about this program, so I, I thought I'd try it. And uh, this one is on uh, Tomboy. Uh, so this is how it looks like. Now, it's a note-taking program. And um, there's another one that's a clone of it. Uh, it's called uh, GNote. Basically, it's a port. Uh, why did they do it? Because uh, they didn't like mono. So Tomboy is mono, and the other one ain't. Uh, so it's up to you, the red pill or the blue pill, you know, but it's both, you know, basically the same features, uh, really nothing different. Uh, but I'm going to talk about Tomboy since it's been around longer. And um, so this time, um, you know, let me start off by saying it's a simple network taking program and it's very lightweight and I think it's really underrated program, but I don't think it's uh, super great either because there's um, features that I think is missing. Uh, that it should have. So let me uh, start off by doing a note. Let me see here. Note here, new one. So um, we have a new note. Let's give it a name. Um, what are we going to call it? We we'll call this uh, screencast or something. Then you can type whatever you want here. Hi, how are you doing or some shit. But basically, you want to make a new note and link it to this. We'll call this a uh, tube or something, right? And then uh, let's highlight this. And you see when you highlight this thing down here, you have a link option. And this one will make a new note um, link to that. So you see how it says tube now? And then you can type whatever you want down here. You know, doesn't really matter. But the point is, um, <clears throat> you always have a link to that note. Uh, if you click it, it will open it. That's great, okay? Uh, another thing is uh, uh, for hyperlinks, like uh, let's say you want to uh, link to something. Uh, let me see, www.bing.com. You see how it does that automatically? Great. You can click on it and it'll open you from your browser, but I'm not going to do it now. <clears throat> uh, another thing is. Um, if you want to link to a file or a folder or something, just type it out like this. Okay. I don't know what it home. Oh yeah. And you see there you go. Now if you want to click on it, uh it'll open Nautilus. There you go, see? So that's uh some things you can do with it. Or you can link to a PDF, an image or whatever. Uh a file doesn't matter. <coughs> now how would you link to an old note? You can link to a new one, but you know, that's a new one. But how do you link to an old note? You know, I thought it was uh, you type something out, blah, 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 here, and like a, a WYSIWYG editor, you know, you highlight it and you try to uh, link it, right? That's not how it works here. Um, how it works here is this you see the names over here? Um, let's say we do this one FFmpeg hell here. You actually just type out the name and it'll just link it automatically. So, if I type out ffmpeg, um, show you, it will link it automatically right there. Just type it, the name of it, and they'll know exactly what note you, you're talking about. So if I click on that now, it will open that note that I had earlier, and you see, there you go. So that's how you link to an old note. Uh, it just depends on the title, that's how you have to type in. Uh, so that's how you do that. <clears throat> you know, I wish what they would do is that they'll let me, they'll allow me to just drag in the old note, and or let me link it like that. But they don't do that. I hope they uh, implement that or something. That'd be great. Now another thing that I think that they're missing is uh, there's no ability to do uh, embedded images. You know, so I can see the images inside here, like a WYSIWYG editor or something, but. Uh, they don't have that. They ain't no features like that. Uh, they do have some uh, text option here, but n not really that important. Um, you know, bold highlight, small decrease. Pretty cool, but you know, not really that much. Uh, so that's it. You can do, uh, you know, your notebooks. So you have a notebooks in the side here. Uh, organize your notes into uh, different notebooks. Uh, but other than that, um, that's all it's for. Um, there's some other features in here. Let me show you. Let's see what is in here. 
Um, you can do templates, not that important. There's some hotkeys you can change around. Uh, synchronization, you can do uh, syncing to your local folder. There's the one with uh, web uh, dev, and there's a Ubuntu one you can sync it to. And I heard you can sync it to uh, Dropbox also. So there's some things you can do with the synchronization if you like. And the add ins or add ons. Um, they have some defaults here, but really um, all the good ones are already enabled. Uh, maybe a timestamp, uh, you might want to ena enable that. But uh, ultimately, that's it. And uh, if you want to get more, you can get more. Not not really that great, uh, in my opinion. But um, they have add-ons, you know. <clears throat> I hope they have more later on that's actually useful to me. But, um, oh yeah, there's another one um, that if you're using Firefox, uh, let me show you. You need this add-on here. Okay, Tom Fox, and uh, what this will do is kind of like uh, Evernote. If you, you saw my video on that, is that let's say you're browsing uh, the net, right? So what is this? The Christmas Carol. <coughs> okay, let's say you're browsing, and let's say you want to highlight this and uh, put it to your Tomboy notes, right? So we already have that add-on installed, and we're just gonna right-click on it, and it says Create Tomboy Notes. And that's pretty much it. It will save that into your Tomboy. Uh, you see it says the Christmas Carol 2009. And we double click on this and you'll see everything that we highlighted is saved. And they give you, give you the source of where we went. And if you click on that, it will open it. But you see the point, that's great right there. Now that's great for if you're a Firefox user. But for everyone else, that sucks, okay? Uh, I don't like the way they did it with the add-ons. Um, I wish they do a bookmarklet, which is what the Evernote did, because a bookmarklet will probably work on all the browsers, because it's just a JavaScript, you know. I wish they do it like that, because a, a an add-on only works on one browser. A bookmarklet will work on just about any browser that has Java, and all the browser has Java. Okay. Uh, so that's my opinion on that. <clears throat> uh, so great program still missing some things uh, wish they uh, improved on it uh, everything I said uh, so that's it and this same applies to G note okay if uh, you're not a man uh, you know a fan of uh, mono so that's it great program go try it